human behavior can be fascinating even in today's world understanding the feelings and thoughts of people around you can help you skyrocket your sales negotiations charisma job promotions and leadership to a totally different level welcome to the podcast body language for success success where we will share one story in each episode on how to best use your body language to fast track your career brought to you by simply body, body talk, talk a market leader in the space of non verbal communication, communication. Having good technical skills or strategies to crack your next client meeting or boardroom presentation is not enough. If you don't know how to connect with and understand the person sitting across from you, all strategies can fail. I want to share stories that showcase how understanding body language can help you be a better leader today or prepare to be one tomorrow. After several years of experience in the field of non-verbal communication, I have witnessed two types of people. One, those who are in people facing roles and need to observe body language but don't know how to do this with a systematic approach. And two, those who know how to observe body language accurately but don't know exactly how to apply this knowledge. We want to bridge that gap. Join Khyati Bhatt, founder of Simply Body Talk, on our podcast Body Language for Success. Success, where we together discover through real life stories how body language techniques can bring you success right away. Right away. This incident is from the year two thousand and seventeen, when we were actively connecting with some of the larger corporates to build business. Today's appointment was with the learning head of one of the leading media houses in India. The lady we met, let's call her Nana, was an energetic and inspiring personality. My colleague and I sat with her in their conference room, a small four-seater which had a round table. The best type of room one might ask for if the meeting were of the nature we were doing. So here we were. Nana sitting across from me listening very intently to what I had to say Now there are different types of meetings some where the agenda is very clear and others which are more about discovering about each other services and what could be a good fit This meeting was the latter so I had no fixed plan to follow Usually during times like these I personally give a broad overview of what we do depending on the nature of business of my counterpart so i did the same thing i started telling nana about our different services but while speaking i was watching her reactions very very closely why because that was what was going to tell me what she wanted to hear and what not and indeed she did at a point when i started talking about the online courses that we had just started shooting for she suddenly turned towards me till now she was seated with her body at a 45 degree angle towards me and the rest of her was turned towards my colleague but at this point as i introduced the topic of her online course the sharp change in her body language told me what i was saying was more interesting for her than the other offerings that i had mentioned so i knew that i had to stop and elaborate a bit more here instead of moving on to a next offering and then coming back to what she had liked and i was right as i started elaborating further nana leaned forward confirming her interest and very soon we were introduced to a team member who escorted us to their actual recording room and to discuss how we could record our next course and collaborate with them this was remember the largest media house in the country and i had gotten the opportunity to work with them simply because i could nail down what interested the person i was speaking with before she told me the same in so many words was i manipulating her absolutely not i was just telling her more about what she wanted to know Would she have asked me anyway if I had not spotted her body language indicating this interest? 
If I had just moved on to my next offering, I am not sure she would have remembered to come back to discuss the one that she had liked. And this is precisely why you cannot always rely on people's words to know what they want to know and what they like. So what's the lesson for the day? When you are in a sales meeting, you don't need to wait for your client to specifically tell you what they like and what they don't. In fact, if you have waited long enough for them to explicitly tell you this, then you have lost the chance to arouse their interest when the time was right. Look closely at what their body language is indicating. When we like something or are uncomfortable with another, our bodies react quickly to this. Sometimes very evidently, sometimes a little more subtly. It is an art to speak, observe and react at the same time. But with practice, you can get there. Do all clients react just the way that Nana did when they like something? Not necessary. But the lesson for today is to observe and react to body language. So the next time you go for a meeting, do take your notes and let me know how it goes. I'm always curious to learn how body language impacts your life. If you enjoyed this story and could see how body language can help you in your career, subscribe to our podcast to hear other interesting stories just like this. Brought to you by Simply Body Talk, a globally present company that specializes in helping working professionals like you around the globe to achieve excellence in your career using nonverbal science. Check us out on www.simplybodytalk.com. If you wish your story to be featured, don't forget to drop us a line on contact at the rate simplybodytalk.com and we will reach out to you.